Hello and welcome to another session here. Uh, here is the package uh, which came today with UPS. Uh, ordered this from Amazon and the delivery time was like three days or two days. It was very quick. And we will open it and take a look on the M-Scope SM3T. Let's take a look here and see what we have. We have pretty many things. I think we'll take it out. This is how it looks. So inside the big box were a little smaller package. And we'll lift this up. Here we have this part. Some other things here. Let's see. Good. So basically, in this smaller box came out some type of protection and one part of the microscope, uh, and then small components being shown here also. So we'll see. And now we're taking a look at the biggest box here. Mm. So let's take a look here. And here we have the rest of this. Uh, so we will place all the components on the table to take a better look on what we have here. So here we have the other components uh, from the other box. And uh, so other cylinder use, not much of instruction, but this will probably be pretty straightforward. So I pretty much uh, begin with this one because, as you can see, you're supposed to. There's a little notch there, and I am pretty sure this one goes there. Then you just wind it. about that and then I take this one and I place it like that and there we're going for it seems to be good like So let's see here, I added this one as uh, in the middle one, straight up, so we will try with this and then I will add, uh, let's call it the screw there. So this is uh, what I have so far. Let's see how it works. And now it's time for this piece. Go here then. So here's some extra which will be perfect to use while working with watch repair. And overall I think it's pretty good. That's the construction of it. Uh, of course, it's a very interesting oh, M-scope version, uh, and I have a camera also which will be attached there, so that will be very handy. So let's take a look here uh, on this one. Uh, as you can maybe see, there's a maybe you can't see, but there's a little screw there you have to uh, screw to place the objective there just to sh show you a little bit clearly they both have them so now you, you place it right now colors i think that's the name uh, let's do that let's see and there you go that's the first one then the second one So now we have them, um, actually 
Let's see, I don't have some good lighting here, but for example, now you can see the bow screws there. That is basically what you need to do here. And this is the 10, 20, 20. Let's see if we can. Just a little bit there, and the same on this one. So, having this one connected, I think it's uh, pretty straightforward. You can't see so much uh, with the camera here, but it looks really good when you're using it. And yeah, it looks perfect. And then I will wait, soon I will get the camera, so we will connect the camera to the laptop. That would be really interesting, uh, because yeah, it's working good. Takes a little bit more, more space than my old one. Let's see if I can show, no it's... You can see some... Hello, let's take a look on the, this is the camera for the, some, for the microscope and also you can use the telescope which I find very fascinating, I saw plenty of nice photos uh, online. Mm, nice, we have everything then. Cable. Let's take a look. Here we have ten millimeters then. Nice. So by adding the camera first we have to fix this one, it's, this one is uh, first connected like this, sorry let's take a look here. I have to take it out a little bit because like here for a minute to show you this comes like this and you have to unplug this one like that. And then it will be a little bit more easier to have this one. And I use this one, of course, very nice. This one. And then basically, should be able to just remove this and place it. So I will just try and see this then. There's supposed to be something more there. This is like going through like this. This is touching the camera in a good way. Because I have it connected now, I'm not sure. Let's see. Have something here. We 
have to change the, this one. I can see you have to take it out all the way, and then let's see how it works or not. Classic. <laughs> see. So after a while I managed to fix this and we can see pretty much details here. And this will be interesting. Uh, so I will let's see how we can use this practical. Very convenient, uh, but it's good to have some extra light. Here you can see the pallet fork. Uh, and slightly by adjusting, we can zoom in and adjust this. And we need... Here you go. So that's very nice. Very sharp and close. Just worth to uh, you need to play some light also because if you remove it, it gets like this. But with the right amount of light, you can can be really good to inspect uh, on the computer and everything. So it's really nice, I think. Well, I guess that concludes everything. Um, very nice. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, by simply moving this one, get a little bit. And there you go. And can zoom in and adjust. A little bit more light is needed though for for all for the perfect photo but this can be very useful so basically uh, this one was uh, a little bit inside so if you push it of course then then it was dark for that reason it was dark in the video but after I fixed that and I added some light here uh, then it's uh, much much better here and you can see pretty much here let's try and zoom in a little bit it's uh, really sharp and that's really good